This is how fast food can kill you. Scientists from the United States have shown that the consumption of fast food is associated with the risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a potentially life-threatening condition in which fat accumulates in this organ. Fast food is loved, probably, everywhere, but especially the inhabitants of the United States and with this. Although there are many studies that have shown that eating such food is associated with an increased risk of developing diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Little is known about the effects of fast food on the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, which also affects more than 30% of the United States population. Such a pathological condition can lead to cirrhosis and scarring on this organ, which, in turn, greatly increases the risk of developing cancer or liver failure. Scientists from the University of Southern California analyzed the results of the National Health and Nutrition Survey for 2017 to 2018, which involved approximately 4,000 U.S. adults. Their findings are presented in the journal Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. It turned out that people with obesity or diabetes, regardless of other factors, including age, gender, alcohol consumption, physical activity, who daily consume 20% or more of the calories related to fast food. The level of adipose tissue in the liver is significantly higher compared to those who eat less fast food or do not consume it at all. The general population, that is, even those who do not have diabetes and obesity, has a moderate accumulation of fat in the liver, when a fifth, or more, of their diet is food on the go. The results of the study also showed that even a relatively small amount of fast food with a high content of carbohydrates and fats can harm the liver. If people eat once a day at a fast food restaurant, they may think they are not harming their bodies. But if such a meal is at least one-fifth of their daily calories, they put their liver at risk, said Annie Kardashian, MD, MD, and first author of the study. We add that the only way to treat NAFLD is diet. Stay tuned for more updates.